Open up resources, Illustrative Mathematics, 8th grade, Unit 4, Lesson 6, Strategic Solving. Number 1. Solve each equation and explain your reasoning. A. Collect like terms. Add 13 to both sides. Add 5 to both sides. Collect the like terms. Take away 2b from both sides. Add 5b to both sides. Twenty nine equals eleven B. Divide both sides by eleven. Twenty nine elevenths equals B, or B equals twenty nine elevenths. B. Combine the like terms three times five plus three times six X minus twelve X equals six X. Add 3x to both sides. Subtract 15 from both sides. Divide both sides by 9. 0 equals 1x, or 0 equals x, or x equals 0. C. Collect like terms. 2 times 6 is 12, minus 2 times c, 12 minus 2c. Take away 12 from both sides. Negative 3 minus 12 is negative 15. Subtract 2c from both sides. Negative 4c plus 7c. That's the same as 7c minus 4c. Divide each side by 3. 1c or c equals negative 5. Negative 5 equals c or c equals negative 5. Number 2. Solve each equation and check your solution. A. Negative 3w minus 4 equals w plus 3. Collect like terms. Add 3w to both sides. Subtract 3 from each side. Divide each side by 4. Negative 7 over 4 is the same as negative 7 fourths. So negative 7 fourths equals W, or W equals negative 7 fourths. B. Collect like terms. 3 times 3 minus 3 times 3x. Three 2 times x plus 2 times 3. Now the equation reads 9 minus 9x equals 2x plus 6 minus 30. Subtract 2x from both sides. 6 minus 30 equals negative 24. Subtract 9 from both sides. Negative 11x equals negative 33. So divide both sides by negative 11. And you'll have a positive 1x or x. x equals 3. C. I'll perform the operations and collect like terms. 1 third times z that's one-third z, plus one-third of four. That's four-thirds. Bring down the minus six, and two-thirds of five is ten-thirds, minus two-thirds of z. Add two-thirds z to both sides. One-third z plus two-thirds z equals three-thirds z, or one z. Subtract four-thirds from each side. Ten-thirds minus four-thirds equals six-thirds, and six-thirds is two. Add six to each side. Z equals eight. 
Number three. Elena said the equation 9x plus 15 equals 3x plus 15 has no solution because 9x is greater than 3x. Do you agree with Elena? Explain your reasoning. I disagree with Elena. When the value of x is 0, 9x and 3x would have the same value. That's because 9 times 0 is 0 and 3 times 0 is also 0. Number four, the table gives some sample data for two quantities, x and y, that are in a proportional relationship. 14 divided by 14 equals one. And 21 divided by 14 equals 21 fourteenths. 21 divided by seven is three, and 14 divided by seven is two. When the value of x is 1, the value of y will be 3 over 2, or 3 halves. When the value of x is 64, to find the value of y, we would multiply 64 and 3 halves. 64 times 3 halves equals 96. So when the x value is 64, the y value is 96. When the y value is 39, we can find the missing x value by dividing 39 by 3 halves. And 39 divided by 3 halves is going to be equal to 39 times the reciprocal of 3 halves, or 39 times 2 thirds. And 39 times 2 thirds is 26. So when the y value is 39, the x value is 26. An equation that represents the proportional relationship between x and y is y equals 3 halves x. Here's a graph that represents this relationship, complete with points on the graph. When the value for x is 20, the value for y would be 30. When the value for x is 40, the value for y would be 60. And when the value for x is 60, the value for y would be 90. Search hashtag 846math to find this lesson fast. 8th grade, Unit 4, Lesson 6, Math. This is a fast way for you to go to any of the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade math lessons that I've made for illustrative math. Thanks for watching.